how to use Google Slides for collaborative presentations. To start, you type in slides.google.com in the URL bar and click on enter. This will take you to a template gallery of different kinds of layouts that you can use for your presentations. But for today's purposes, we are going to click on blank. Now, the thing to keep in mind is that when you are preparing a presentation for a group, then only one of you has to start the slide deck. So let's call this presentation one. Now the next step that we need to do is name our file so that it can be easily identified in your drive. Now you take your cursor over this area and you can click. The file automatically reads what you have written in your title slide and accordingly changes itself. I've already noticed that I have made a spelling mistake so we will check that. And here as well. Yes. In the subtitles, you might want to add your co-collaborators' names. So, person A, person B, person C, person D, and person E. In the next step, you are going to share this slide deck with your co-presenters. So, when you click, when you take your cursor here, you can see that it is only private to you. So we should click on the blue button to open a fresh dialog box where you can type in the names and emails of your co-presenters. So I'm adding two people here. You may want to add a message here and say, let's collaborate and click on send. Now how would your co-presenters know that it has been shared with them? They go to their inboxes and they can see there's a mail waiting for them from you. And your partners can then click on open in slides and they will reach this presentation that you have started. Now as the others, as your partners are joining the presentation, you can identify them here on the top of your screen. Generally, their images or an alphabet representing them will come up here. So you can see here as well, your partners can also see you and the different users. Since all the presenters are still working on the same slide, these bars or these images are going to indicate where each of your partners are. Now let us say you make a change in this slide or you want to add a new slide here. You go to this plus button here and you click and this adds a new slide in your presentation. Let's call this slide 2. Do the other presenters see the same? Yes, they do. And this highlighted area tells them who has made this particular slide. So all the three partners here are able to see what the other is doing. Now can your partners also edit this? Yes, they can. Let us say we want to add partner three wants to add another slide. So goes to the plus sign here, clicks and a third slide is added. And let's call it slide 3. Now let's see if the other partners are able to see it too. Absolutely. So in real time, all the co-presenters are able to see what changes are being made. Now let us say one partner is not here currently working with you. The next time they open this file, they will, they will be able to see all the changes that have been made in the slides so far. Google Slides also enables you to make certain comments. For example, um, I'm not comfortable with just numbering the slides, so I might highlight this and then write a comment. I might say that 
let us give more meaningful names to our slides and click on the comment button. Now do the other partners get to see this comment? Let us see. Yes. So partner number two is also able to see this comment and get to know who has made this comment. So does partner three. Now you can, if you choose, do it differently and say, all right. So let's say partner two decides that fine, I'm going to change the name of the slide and call it partnership, for example. Now, are partners one and two able to, one and three rather, are they able to see that? So we go on to partner one and yes, partner one can see that this change has been made and partner three can also make, make out that who has made this change. So this kind of collaborative presentation can be done in many different ways. It can be done between educators across the world who want to make probably make a common lesson plan for a topic that they are teaching. This can be given to students to make presentations together for a class project. There are many different ways in which you can use Google Slides for collaborative presentations.